Hi yogis, welcome to day six of yoga for just contentment, being content with where we are at, with all that's happening and where we're going. I had a really funny moment the other day. I was sitting in my living room and I was drinking tea and I was reading, so I had the morning off and I had this moment of reading about yoga and philosophy and I found myself thinking, oh, I just wanna go live out in the woods by myself so I can really focus on reading, focus on yoga, focus, focus. And then I thought, Emily, you're doing it. In the middle of me studying the thing that I always wanna be studying, yoga and philosophy, I was already thinking of a different version, a better version of it, which is the opposite of being content. So I kind of just laughed at myself and I was like, you're here, you're doing it. You're doing what you always want to be. So why not take time to enjoy it? So that's what today's focus is about throughout practice, throughout the day, even the rest of the week. See if you can just find time just to be. When we dive into self-inquiry, I think we always try to look outside of ourselves, but often if we focus and just go inwards and learn how to be content, I think that's step one of just really diving deep. So for today's practice, we're actually gonna start standing. So we'll meet at the top of the mat. So coming to Tadasana at the top of your mat, grounding down through the feet, rolling the shoulders down the back and stacking the shoulders over the hips. Hands will come to heart center, bringing the sternum up to meet the thumbs and feeling the crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling. Inhale, raising the arms up, palms come to touch and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, placing the hands down and stepping back to plank, inhaling here. And exhale, lowering down with or without the knees. And inhaling into cobra or upward facing dog, it's your choice. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pedaling the feet out here for a moment. Bending into one knee and then the other and slowly walking your feet towards the top of the mat, coming towards a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, leading with the heart, and exhale, fold. Bending through the knees, inhale, raising the arms up, palms come to touch, and exhale, hands through heart center. Again, inhale, raising the arm, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, placing the hands down, stepping back to plank. Exhaling as you lower. Inhaling as you open up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pedaling the feet out, knowing that in this class we will be flowing a little bit through sun salutations and you can always skip that flow that we just did and go straight from plank to downward facing dog. Walking the feet forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bending through the knees, inhale, raising the arms up. Palms come to touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, placing the hands down, stepping back to plank, and then you choose a little flow or a downward facing dog. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Raising the right leg up on the inhale. Exhale, stepping the right foot forward between the hands, the left heel comes down. And coming up to warrior two, gazing over the right middle finger. Flipping the front hand, inhale, reverse your warrior, left arm comes low, right arm comes high. Exhale, side angle, right forearm to the right thigh, left arm stretching overhead. Repeating that again, inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left arm stretching overhead. Coming up through center, turning the right toes in, and then the heels will come in, the toes will point out. Reaching the arms up and sitting the hips low for goddess pose. In goddess, we're really connecting into feminine energy, not only female, but feminine. We all have a little bit of feminine and masculine in us. 
So see if you can really connect to the lower body, that sense of nurture, the sense of moon, self. Slowly straightening through the legs, turning the toes in and coming towards a forward fold, gently reaching the heart forward. Hands can come onto the ground or blocks or even onto the shins. Nodding the head, yes and no. Walking the hands towards the top of the mat, coming to a low lunge that left heel will raise, stepping back to plank, opportunity to flow or down dog. Raising the left leg up when you arrive and down dog. And exhale, stepping the left foot forward. The right heel comes down, warrior two. Gazing over the left middle finger. Flipping the front hand, inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm stretching overhead. Repeating that again, inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle. Coming up through center, the toes turn in. Heels now both turn in, toes coming out, sitting into goddess pose, sitting the hips low, really opening up through the chest here. Maybe sinking the hips just a little bit deeper. Stretching up through the legs. Windmill the hands down, that right heel raises, stepping back to plank, moving through a flow. Meeting in downward facing dog. Seeing how it feels to move at your own pace. You can always slow down, do whatever you need. And slowly step or hop towards the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Bending through the knees, inhale, raising the arms up, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands through heart center, right back into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, placing the hands down, stepping back to plank, exhaling as you lower, inhaling as you open into cobra or upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Changing up the formation of the flow a little bit, raising the right leg high, and exhale, stepping that right foot forward in between the hands, warrior two. Flipping the front hand, inhale, reverse your warrior, and exhale, side angle, right from to right thigh, left arm stretching overhead. Repeating that again, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Coming up through center, the right toes turn in, heels come towards one another. Sitting the hips low for goddess, this time the hands come down onto the thighs and we're stretching just gently into the shoulders. So dropping the right shoulder and looking up over the left, back to center and then dropping the left shoulder and looking over to the right. Stretching up through the legs, turning the right toes in, now coming to warrior two, facing the back of your mat. Gazing over the left middle finger. Repeating that all on this side, flipping the front hand, inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle. Again, reverse your warrior. And exhale, side angle. Inhale, coming up through center, turning the toes in, coming to goddess pose again, cactusing the arms, opportunity to balance this time. Maybe raising the right heel off the ground, then maybe trying the left, and you might even try both here. Just see how it feels. Being content with whatever happens in the body today. Slowly lowering the feet down, turning the toes in, interlacing the fingers behind the back this time, opening up through the chest, and then exhale again to a wide-legged forward fold. Bend into the knees as much as you need here, and if you wanna drop the arms towards the ground, of course, that's fine.
slowly release the hands down. Walk the hands towards the top of the mat, stepping back to plank. Moving through our last flow, exhale as you lower. Inhale as you open. And exhale, downward facing dog. Opening the knees wide, sitting the hips back just for a brief child's pose. Inhaling. And exhaling. Again, inhaling. And exhaling. Walking the hands back. We'll let the hips shift to either side and move onto our backs. We will be doing a little bit of a restorative bridge pose, so bring a block or a book or anything you have around the house that even looks like this so that you can lie down on it. When you do come onto your back, feet are hips width apart. Arms are down by the sides, palms facing down. Rolling the hips towards the ceiling, raising the hips off the ground, coming into bridge pose. Make sure that the back of the neck and throat feel really relaxed. You may roll the shoulders underneath, interlacing the fingers behind the back for a clasp. Slowly releasing the hands, rolling the back down, walking the feet out to the sides of the mat and letting the knees fall in to center. Maybe placing one hand on the heart and one hand on the stomach. What would it feel like to just feel fully present in everything that we do? Being able to be grateful for the little moments, whether they're tough or extremely inspiring. Walking the feet back to center, arms come down by the sides. Moving into another bridge pose or a restorative bridge pose, it's up to you. If you're doing restorative, bringing the block underneath the hips at the lowest or the medium setting. And then options here, you can stay with the legs bent or you might extend one leg forward and then the other. You can always do one leg at a time. If it feels pretty tough on the back or doesn't feel supportive, you can always lower the block down or bring the legs back to center. Slowly bringing the feet back towards the hips, removing the block off to the side, and then again, allowing the feet to come to the edges of the mat and the knees to fall in towards one another. And then walking the feet to center, we'll roll over onto either side and make our way up to a seat for a seated wide-legged forward fold. We did standing wide-legged forward fold a couple times in class. Let's just give us a little more space to do it. I recommend using a blanket to sit up on. Um, this is a nice way. If you find yourself in a wide-legged forward fold and the pelvis feels like it's tucked under, kind of like this, it's very normal. If we use a blanket to sit up on, this typically helps. Kind of adds a little bit of an assist for the legs here. Wherever you are, inhale, lengthening the spine, and then exhale, reaching the heart forward. It might not be a super deep stretch. You might feel plenty of a stretch seated, so you don't even have to lean forward. Finding contentment with where this stretch is today and just what it feels like, whether it's a lot of sensation or just a little bit, that's okay, because that's really all that there is right now. Taking one more breath here. Inhale, lengthening the spine. 
And exhale, releasing the head to the chest, curling forward wherever you are. And then slowly coming back up. If you'd like to assist the knees back to center, that might feel nice. Scooting the hips forward. And we'll all meet down on our backs. Opening the arms out into a T. Scooting the hips just slightly over to the right so that we have more room to let the knees fall to the left. So if that sounded confusing, hips to the right, then the knees fall to the left. The head may look towards that outstretched right arm. Your next inhale brings the knees back to center and scooting the hips back to center. You may even bend the knees towards the chest for a moment, rocking side to side, just to make sure the hips and shoulders are back in alignment. And then placing the feet down, opening the arms back out again, hip shift to the left now, knees fall to the right. Looking towards that left hand if the neck allows and maybe closing the eyes if that feels comfortable or you can find a soft gaze. Your next inhale brings your knees back to center. Extending or pulling the knees towards the chest first, rocking side to side again. And then extending everything long, extending the legs out. Arms come down by the sides, palms facing the ceiling. And really allow yourself to get cozy for Shavasana. If you want to put a bolster or pillow under your knees, or even a blanket over the hips. Knowing that it is now your time to rest.
slowly connecting back to your breath. Welcoming gentle movements in the fingers and toes. And bending through the knees when you're ready. And rolling over onto either side, using your upper arm as a pillow for the head. Pushing yourself up to a comfortable seat and setting yourself up so that you can sit just for about a minute. So maybe propping the hips up, letting the arms relax on the knees or maybe the right arm or the right hand over the left in the lap. And we'll take the next few breaths to simply be. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart. Always know that the light and love within me is very honored and proud to witness the light and love within each of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. If you want to stay connected, Maybe comment below or use the hashtag yoga connection to share how you're going to find contentment within yourself or your day, regardless of where you are. And it'll be fun to see where everyone's at and how everyone's feeling after class today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.